Hello and welcome to How To Series by Someka. Today, I'll show you how to create an LBO model template from scratch. This task can be down to net first. However, once you watch the whole video, you're going to be able to make your own LBO model on Excel. For this video, we're going to create a simple five-year LBO model. Let's write down the transaction assumptions first. Let's add the uh, entry multiple. Entry multiple is used to find the enterprise value of the target company in relation to its EBITDA. Let's also add the transaction fees and the investment period. Let's write down the operational assumptions and its key elements. Let's start with revenue for the last 12 months. EBITDA margin. And here I am adding the rate of change in net working capital to the total revenues. Let's add the debt assumptions section also. And now we're going to create a section that displays the result of your LBO projections. Let's call it LBO report. Let's start adding the purchase value first. That is the enterprise value of the target company. Now we are adding the entry equity. This is the value that the sponsor company invests. Let's add the sale value and exit equity. And lastly, we're going to create two different tables that consist of calculations. That, that is cash flow and payment schedule details table. Let's add the payment schedule table. Now we have prepared the backbone of our template. Let's enter some data for demonstration purposes. Let's enter the purchase value of the company. Let's calculate the entry equity. That is the purchase value minus the transaction fees and the debt. Let's enter the revenue and EBITDA here so we can calculate the sale value. Now we have calculated the revenue for each year. Now we will see the sale value of the company after five years. Now let's calculate the exit value. It's calculated as the total transaction value minus the outstanding debt balance. Let's calculate the multiple on invested capital. And lastly, calculate the IRR. Now we can calculate the free cash flow section. We already calculated the revenue and the EBITDA. So let's abstract depreciation and amortization, interest and tax from EBITDA. So we can calculate the net income. Calculating the change in net working capital. And now we can calculate the free cash flow. Now that we calculated the free cash flow, we can continue with the payment schedule section. So we already know the end and balance as the debt amount is written here. So let's add that. End and balance of each year will be transferred to beginning balance of the next year. And we can pay the debt using the free cash flow available. Now you have learned how to make an LBO model from scratch. Now we can change the formatting for a cleaner look. We can also add borders. And let's make the title bolder. We can also apply free Spain on the title. We can also align the charts here for a better look. Now that we're done with the tables, we can add a chart that shows the free cash flow. We can also align the data. 
You can of course slightly change the design for your liking. And of course we can delete the unnecessary columns here. Now we have learned how to make an LPO model from scratch. However, if you want more detailed, ready to use LPO model template for Excel, just go to someka.net type LBO and you can download the template for free. Thanks for watching.